Green's family, this is my good naval brother, Uzman. That's our tour guide says tour assistant in the Gambia. Yeah, my brother, appreciate you coming to get us on the border and working out those visas arrival. That was a beautiful Big master plan. Time. That worked out beautiful, man. Well, Serious, man. Much, man. This man is about his business family. It was very nice to go and meet my own brother, sisters and brothers and bring them into the smiling coast of Africa. That's the Gambia. Personally, right now, we are inside the ferry crossing to the other side of the river Gambia at this banyu, formerly known as Batos. Personally, right now, we're just around approaching a power vessel that was brought by the democratic government. Uh, when, when has this uh, power vessel been here? It's almost about four years now. Really. So you're telling me this, this ship right here, this power ship, uh, from Turkey powers the entire Banjo, city of Banjo, and, and, and even beyond, beyond Banjo, yes, around the uh, coastal area, like Serkuna, Kololi. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Because what happened is, if we, if we talk about democracy, we still build into slavery because there is no democracy now. The people that they feel that they are dictators, they are the best people. Because like the dictator that they call him, who was here. He was able to produce electricity without help by the help of any Europeans. Oh wow, so he was, he was doing this independent? Yeah, he was doing it. Wow. But when the democracy comes back, they can't do anything. They have to, because most of them are puppets, so they depend on the Europeans. And now this money we pay into this power city can be built in the country and develop the country. So is it both ships or just one? Is it two of them. Yeah, two of them. Wow. Wow. Yeah, two of them. So what kind of power plant is it? Is it diesel or is yeah, it diesel. Uh, yeah, diesel. Yeah. diesel system? Diesel. Definitely not nuclear. <laughs> this diesel. The power into, into the water. Let's, go, let's, let's get a little closer. Yeah. This is amazing. This actually powers the whole city. You can get the pump. Let me call it. Power ship. family didn't believe us that's it right there and as you can see the ship is connected to the power grid on the land uh, just trying to show you the connection I'm not showing everybody that how the ship is connected we see the electrical wires connected to a grid on the land so, so my brother let's be real man how long do we plan on keeping this going on or do we plan on getting back to building power plants on the land? Like, like what happened is now they are working on the electricity system because the OIC have been projects here to improve the electricity in the Gambia and water projects. So right now they are working on the roads. Even if you go far in, you'll see there is a development taking place. Maybe I will expect one or two years time everything will be done correctly. Because solely we don't need them here because we are not benefiting anything from them unless they are taking our revenue. I mean, also, isn't there some sort of pollution? Like, yeah, we need I mean, some sort of. <laughs> you, you know, your man has been in the Navy longer than myself. Isn't there some form of our pollution? Of it, course, there's a lot of pollution because sometimes. Because it's they, not proper to do, yeah, right? Sometimes ago, they used to have some leakage of oil when they are trying to fuel the boat itself. Because I guess every once in a while they got to refill it with diesel fuel. Uh, I think uh, last time I learned that every two weeks they have to fuel them. A uh, fuel tank will come and fuel them, and that is the issue. Yeah, because I noticed like on this side it's like it, it seems like very polluted. Of course it is very polluted. Even if you can feel there. the smoke right now, as I'm talking to you, I'm feeling the smoke. Yeah, you can feel yes. the smoke. You know, especially early in the morning, you see the smoke rays. If you are looking on top, you are seeing the smoke rays down there, you see. It's not going. You see the smoke rays, you see. From the engines, you see the smoke. This is like, it's continuous for almost three to four years now. Yeah, family, you got to do better than this, man. We can't kill our, Own our tropical start. paradise. Where's the car? It's the car? It disappeared. The vehicle? It, it disappeared. It disappeared. No, it's not gone. The guy just bumped into the water. No, that was that was the movie. <laughs> that was the movie. <laughs> Family, it's, uh, it's a, a great venture, man. You're my good brother, man. My brother was telling me he's in the Navy for 18 years yes. in the Gambia. Gambia. That must have been a beautiful experience because there's, there's a lot of water. Lot of so water. he was always sailing on the Gambian River. Gambian River. Yeah. I used to go up to in the 
open and world that we got in Senegal. Yeah, I'm always there. You your family? I love the sea. And then your main job in the Navy was what? I was an engineer. The engineer? Were you an officer or were you enlisted? I was a petty officer. A petty officer? Yeah. Same thing as myself, <laughs> a yeah, petty officer. officer. <laughs> From an able body, then to an LS Navy Seaman, to a petty officer. Yeah. yeah and I was an engineering instructor too. And I was a swimming instructor too. My brother got some great experience. Yeah. Now let's. Uh, so since we talk about the Navy and sailing, uh, what, what's up with all these? Uh, uh, this is uh, this one is carrying uh, cement. Other one is carrying uh, the gravel from Morocco. They take this gravel because there is a construction going in the country, road construction. So there is a link between the Gambia government and the Moroccan government, where they take the gravel from Morocco and take it to this place. So we also have other cargo, see, uh, other containers down there. Oh yes, yeah, so this is so uh, right here, Banjul. This is so this is the main port of the Gambia. Yeah, this is oh, the main port of the Gambia. Yeah, I see a lot of shipping containers. Yeah, the shipping container. Then that's why we are saying welcome to the Gambia and welcome to Banjul, formerly known as Batos. Batos. Yama. So family, welcome to the port of Banjul. I remember the first time pulling up here in 2006. Um, the only thing I could think about was that long ride from Senegal, but uh, 19 years later, we're still doing it. So, what, like we always say, you fam, family, land, air, sea, we will get you there. Land, air, sea, we get you there. And that's what we do, family, on the journey of a lifetime. So, we're about to pull into port. So, let's uh, get uh, ourselves organized and we're going to get ourselves back on the boat. Excuse me, get ourselves off the boat. Now get on the ship and then get off the boat more precisely. So as the ship is turned, this is what we were showing you earlier. The, the power boat. My brother said it's been here for four years. So we're definitely looking for us, you know, do more stuff on land. Do your power plants on land. That's what I learned in the Navy. Power plant technician on aircraft system, but it's the same thing too. You're powering your operation. Strong engines. So we're just gonna pull right on in, and then the first set of uh, vehicles that's gonna be if, that's gonna be getting off is going to be our vehicle. Just like the other one, it said uh, "Welcome to Barra." This one is "Welcome to Banjul." Yes, fellas, you're ready. I hope you have a great conversation and everything. You, you, you lost track of which direction we're in, right? The boat, the, the boat been sailing around. It's been spinning around. I just asked you realize this is either guy. Oh, greetings, okay. sister. We're going to try to go get dinner to us. Oh, that sounds nice. Gambia, 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 Jollof Rice, that's right. Yes. No, no, it's not. A nice one. No. A nice one. No. It's a nice one. No. Good breakfast. I don't want to be. Masigai. Jamie, I love Jamie Jalapras. Ah, you will get. You will get. I love I'm always messing with people about Jalapras. We love Jalapras in all countries. You will have it. You will have it. You will have it. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. 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 It Yes, yes, we are back on the boat. And excuse me, but we're back on the bus. Bus and boats. Land, air, sea, we'll get you there. And we have our main supervisor on deck. The supervisor of all supervisors. Right, right. 
Yes, hopefully everybody enjoyed that experience. Even though the ship was spinning around like it's um, we're doing some magic. <laughs> hey! <laughs> So family, we're about to pull off of the boat and then uh, we're going to get ourselves to uh, the Senegambia area. So we'll show you a whole lot more, especially when we get to our, our magnificent resort. And representing one time uh, with the Gambian colors. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have some good jollof rice. Yes. Oh, Domada. Yes, there also we have the bamboo oil, we call this the, the sea oil, I think I have to say in talk to uh, well, You have the sea oil, if you use the sea oil, it is natural. Like me, even in my family, we don't use the other oil, body oil, lots of, no. We use the sea oil, I think you know what is sea oil? The bamboo oil. Bamboo? Yeah, the bamboo oil. Bamboo oil. Bamboo oil. Yeah, you get some. I don't use the other oil. My family. I so family, lot. the journey I continues. Lot, put in a container. Every day in the morning, in the morning, just take and apply. Mm -hmm. Even if you have first call, like if you have yes, first call, yeah. apply small little bit. Yeah, yeah. Just like water. <laughs>